Hey everyone, I'm here at the Burbank Library, the Buena Vista branch, and I'm going to explain a little bit about my rent stabilization ordinance that uh, I feel needs to get passed here in the city of Burbank. Um, so, just uh, to catch everybody up, in Burbank, uh, over 50% of all residents rent, which is not uncommon for a large city. Uh, however, we are technically a suburb of a major metropolitan area. So that number is a little higher than uh, an average uh, suburban city in the United States. Um, so here we have Burbank. And we have a number of uh, smaller apartment complexes, duplexes, triplexes, um, little communities with 12, maybe 18 units. These are uh, considered, you know, smaller owner-operated style buildings. Um, they're very conducive to living in a suburban atmosphere, and uh, everybody loves living in these little small uh, units. They get to know their neighbor, they get to know their owner. It's uh, it's very convenient for everyone, and the market is actually uh, very conducive to keeping prices regulated. The say if you only have three units in a building one person wanting to leave or renegotiate their price has a lot more power uh, uh, against their owner so to speak in the, the negotiating table than say a much larger uh, building uh, speaking of much larger buildings so when you move to los angeles or santa monica or other large cities san francisco new york um, a lot of those major metropolitan areas have instituted rent control. Now, the reason they do this is because at a certain point, the owners of the building, um, they tend to control the market uh, uh, vastly. They tend to you know, own not just one small building, but they'll get two or three very large buildings. Um, and it starts to tip the balance of power away from the renter. And even the large buildings themselves tend to encroach on the market and ruin it for the smaller guy who actually owns this building. He gets overpowered and you know, pushed out of his area. So uh, a lot of the large metropolitan areas have put in very strict rent control. Um, one of the major problems we've seen in the last 40 years with rent control is the buildings that they target. Uh, back 40 years ago, back in the 70s, people were very worried that the um, inflation would drive the cost way too high in these buildings. So they created rent control to target just older buildings, people who had been living in old buildings for a long time. And once that happened, developers started to get the idea of simply knocking down old buildings. And once that happens, the rent control dissipates. For me specifically, what I have seen in Burbank is a, uh, um, a very free and fair market system in the smaller buildings, the, the 12 unit, the 20 unit buildings, the owner operated system, and egregious abuse on the larger buildings. So for me, the Burbank style rent control that I want to pass in this city involves targeting just buildings over 50 units. These are the large um, mega scale buildings that tend to churn and burn residents. They work on high turnaround, they employ a lot of uh, minimum wage leasing agents, and they flood the ad market with very cheap ads and actually push out the smaller buildings and not able, uh, these guys are not able to keep up with uh, the ad buys. And what happens is as they drive their prices up because they're paying for more and more leasing agents because they're having higher and higher turnaround, as they pay for more ad buys and that's where they're spending their money, their prices uh, skyrocket. And then the guys over here who may or may not be aware of what's happening, they see the market flooding higher and higher and they tend to match the prices. Now, Granted, a lot of these units, uh, they, they work with their tenants and they try to keep the prices reasonable. They try to keep, you know, uh, normalized pricing here. Um, but what we've seen is more and more individual owners are tending to match the prices of the big guys to their own detriment. And they're forcing out their own uh, residents and losing money. Their, you know, vacancies are lasting 30, 60, 90 days 
and the owners of these buildings, um, they're trying to chase after that higher and higher rent and it's not doing them any favors. And for me, I would rather implement a Burbank style rent control rather than let these little guys suffer and their residents suffer. So what we will do, we'll target the large buildings with 50 units or above, we'll, uh, we'll abolish their ability to use predatory leasing agreements because what they're doing is they're, they're getting people in with three and six month lease agreements and then jacking the price of rent up on them uh, after that time and negotiating longer leases at slightly lower rates but not nearly as affordable as the smaller buildings. Uh, and we'll also put um, price increase caps. So I wanna set their yearly increase caps to the level of inflation for that year. So in 2016, the national level of inflation was 1.7. I wanna create a system where after a year, they would only be able to raise their prices 1.7, whatever the inflation is, plus any uh, percentage increase that uh, the city council or the Burbank Landlord Tenant Commission would want to add one or two points, uh, percentage points to that as well. So that's what I would like to hit with them. But these guys over here, if you're under 50 units, you would be exempt, if I could write correctly. <laughs> so the lower uh, 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 end buildings would be exempt from the rent control. The market here is working fine and we don't need to touch these guys. They're doing great. The owner operator businesses are the backbone and thriving business of Burbank. And this is the middle class economy that we need to protect from these guys here. All right. Uh, you can find me on uh, facebook.com slash Constantine Anthony. Come and join my campaign. I am running for city council and we're going to put together a Burbank style rent control. Thank you.